Hi, YouTube. Let's have a drink this evening. After I turn this down. Where you can hear me. Okay, that should be good. This evening, we're going to try some Red's Blueberry Ale. Which I shown in drinks all in 625 and it's the 28th now so yeah i'm kind of getting behind on my drinking schedule a little bit but you know everybody needs a break red's blueberry ale limited pick special release uh 5% alcohol by volume, so it shouldn't be too overpowering, like some of them are, like the Harders, Mike's Harders. Uh, ale with natural flavor and caramel color, an exceptionally crisp blueberry ale. Okay, we'll see about that. Reds Brewing Co., Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Go figure. Milwaukee. Um, trying to find the size here. One pint. 16 fluid ounces. 473 milliliters. Alright, let's see what it looks like. So far, it looks clear, but I do smell blueberries all the way from here. Oh, jeez. You just done went crazy. Okay. Shut that up. Okay, it looks like beer. It looks exactly like beer, but it has a very sweet smell. Yes, it, it smells very, very sweet. And taste. Man, that blueberry is strong. If you like blueberries, you will like this. Not like real blueberries, but, you know, that Jolly Rancher Kool-Aid blueberry taste. You know, the fake one, artificial. Yeah, if you like that, you're gonna love this. It's a, it's a little strong on the blueberries. But like most red stuff, it's very drinkable. It's good, tastes good. You can barely taste the alcohol in it. You do taste the alcohol, but it's it's mixed perfectly with the flavoring, so it's not overpowering. Oh man, that one's got to rank pretty high on the scale. Out of ten, I give that probably an eight. Yeah, that's that's got to be an eight. For like cheap gas station, um, two dollars and some change flavored L's, that's got to be a nine or a ten. Because I have had a lot of shitty gas station flavored beers and L's and whatever you want to, whatever else you want to call them. Pretty much they're just soda and Everclear mixed together. But, uh, yeah, that's really good. I give it an 8 out of 10. So, that is Krusty How Recommended. Of course, most reds are. I like the original reds, too. The, uh, Wicked Apple or, you know, the Apple one. The regular reds. It's, it's very good. Um, that one's pretty good, too. So, if you do see this... I would pick it up since it is limited pick, but only if you like artificial blueberries.
if you don't like blueberries and you don't like the smell or the taste then stay far away from this because you will smell it as soon as you open up the can and it does have a strong blueberry taste but the thing is the more you drink it the more it goes back to tasting like normal breads like it's starting to finally uh, smell like apple again and it's slowly starting to taste like apple again yeah the more you drink it the more it tastes like normal reds but you do got that kind of sour citricky acid uh, artificial flavor which ain't bad because it doesn't leave a aftertaste at all really nothing that a little water can't wash down but I've had a lot of cheap artificial flavors too that it don't matter if you drink water or not that flavor and that bitterness is just clung inside your mouth and about the only thing to get out is to drink some more what I like to call soda beer, you know, Bud Light and uh, Miller Life and all that shit. Just your regular cheap American beer. But if you do see that, grab it. It's good. Krusty Hell recommended. 